hello hello welcome my name is open up welcome today i want to share with you uh, mistakes people make in investing in real estate in, in ghana mistakes people make uh, in investing in real estate uh in ghana i'm not talking about building for yourself i'm talking about trying to build uh to get some level of income you know building as as, as an investment i don't think so much that the one that you built for yourself the 10 bedroom that you built for yourself in a nice location in Accra, which you live in, that does not bring any income. It's an investment so much that is able to add value uh, to your worth or to uh, to bring some kind of money to you, unless you built you built it and you you you, you rented it. I mean, if you if you built it and you rented it, then I think you are you are on the path to making it an investment. But uh, building a house like the one that I live in, <laughs> I don't take any rent from it, <laughs> you know, so I just live in. And maybe I'm not paying, uh, uh, you know, rent to anybody, which is a good thing, but really it's not bringing much value. What it does is that it, it makes you feel good that, you know, people will say that, you know, you are not a, you know, a poor man. You live in a, your own house. It's just something that massages our ego, but it's not a tool to creating wealth. So I'm talking about investing, some of the mistakes that people make in investing in properties as a tool to creating uh, some level of wealth. You know, so if you if you come in Ghana, for instance, um, this is kind of some of some of the stories that are here um, the pain points that people get in terms of trying to invest uh, as a matter of fact, not many people invest most people um, build for themselves they build only to live in you know to build for themselves and some people can build through to five houses you know that's for, that's fine but um, if you want because the rest is the two it's about the most convenient and safest tool of weight preservation if you want to preserve wealth for the for the for the generations for those after you and for those after you after you uh, there is no other place better than investing in in lands in properties in buildings you know my grandfather's cocoa farm is still there the, the family owns the land you know so it can be there for centuries until somebody else messes up so it's a good thing so you can invest in land but the mistakes people make is that um, sometimes the especially in a uh, key area like Accra mainly uh, there are a lot of issues so uh, you shouldn't you should you should do your due diligence do your due diligence very well and as I, as you, as you know it um, from my experience deal with people who who have been doing this and do with people deal with people who are credible people you can trust your word build that trust before somebody else just takes you to say oh there's a land here let's go and check you know and most of it take the land documents and also you know do your, your some bit of uh, but the safest is the character of the individual that you're dealing with because even if there is a problem that person will not run away they will stay with you uh, till you you are through with whatever challenges that you meet and so uh, do your due diligence well and uh, go to the place when it is raining as well to see if the place is safe and is, is secure and uh, the other mistake that people do is uh, they go to take bank loans to build for rent uh, if you're taking the loan from ghana uh, you should make sure that the loan is no more than 10 percent a year and i don't think we have that in, in terms of city so you i will not do that most often the people that i've seen who have tried to build a uh, real estate business invest in the real estate and gotten uh, into a lot of troubles were people who were running with loan People who went for high interest loan and then trying to build a house because you're going to use let's say six months one year two years to build that house and they are not going to stop that interest from you know accruing so the interest will be there by the time that you finish the house let's say you went to take 200,000 the interest they are charging 30 percent a year so by the time you finish building that house two years is gone that's 60 percent and maybe another year to <laughs> to sell that house that's almost 100 percent so now the 200,000 has become 400,000 how much are you going to sell in that house to sell the house now that becomes a headache uh, for you and another thing that I see that becomes a bit of challenge to most people is where they cite their concept you know the concept you are building a house in an area that most people cannot afford the rent and yet you are building and finishing it in a super quality form and when you finish you say that you're renting at five thousand for two bedroom house in an area that those who can afford that will not prefer to live you know so then you miss it so that your concept must fit the location that you you have your concept your pricing the finishing 
the, the, whether it's an apartment what kind of apartment uh, whether you are building one you know single room self contained two bedroom three bedroom what kind of house are you building does it does it fit the people that you are trying to build for you must have the people that you are trying to build for in mind and you must have um, the the kind of money that they can use to rent you know most often you are using about a third of your salary for rent let's face it a third of your salary so if i'm taking thousand i'm probably renting around 200 or 300 ghana cities and so if you if your rent is thousand i'm taking thousand and you want to take thousand you that one will not work so it could be a mistake in terms of your your concept and where you are situating your concept and that's why sometimes you can see people have built house houses they have put there for rent and nobody's going there it's not because people don't like it but the pricing is way beyond most people who live in that locality you know so that could be a mistake and the other, the other thing is a wrong construction team that's a pain point as well for most people you know most people uh, construction is a very technical field you may think that is that easy it's not that easy and any mistake that you make is is cost you know you are building it is a mistake is cost and when you're breaking it is a cost you pay the labor for <laughs> pay for labor before they break it and then when you are rebuilding it is the same you pay for material and you pay for labor and there is also time component so you you, you your best your best advantage will be the kind of team that you're able to put together most people have gone through a lot of terrible terrible experiences trying to invest in real estate because we don't build a lot of houses that we we don't have a lot of contractors or investors building houses let's say apartment for instance and then selling them where people can buy them and rent them themselves we don't have so many of that so in our market you have to design and build yourself and then you rent so you you probably are just the investor the developer and the, maybe even the financier <laughs> most of it which means that you must have a very strong strong construction team to work with whether you're putting that team together yourself or you're you're getting a contractor to it for you but your pain will come from the kind of people you put together i will go for two things their expertise and their honesty i'll go for those their expertise and their honesty if you shot it on one um, i have to balance it but a lot of the times i will compromise a little on the expertise and go for somebody who'll be a bit straightforward because then if he buys 10 bags of cement is 10 bags of cement he's not buying 20 and telling me it's 10 if 10 people came to work he's giving me 10 people not 50 you know because then you you built at uh, you big beyond your you built beyond your strength you budgeted 200,000 for this building if you don't have very honest people building for you you end up spending 400,000 or even if you spend the 200,000 the quality has been compromised which means that you may be still within budget but the, the quality that you paid for maybe hundred thousand you know so i would i will establish credibility before technical expertise before technical expertise but technical expertise can also save you a lot of money because if they know the processes and if they know what they're doing and the concept is good you get a good product uh you meet your timelines and then uh you know you you <laughs> you, you do it with a little bit of ease but um you look for honesty I, I from my experience somebody who has very good uh, character and good social skills because it's a problem construction is a problem that you're solving once you see it on the drawing you're going to produce that physically it's a problem every every day there's a, a problem somewhere and so you want somebody who has very good problem solving skills you have somebody who is mature emotionally who is not erratic who is not you know <laughs> are proactive who is able to uh, hold disagreements and who is able to keep their composure and who is able to take stress and, and, and who is able to pull people and so your best bet will be the person that you give the project to the one who is leading the project how, how honest they are and how, how fluent they are in terms of explaining things to you for you to understand and never stay out of the concept be involved especially when it gets to the finishing be involved when you get to the, the, the when you're buying the towels, the, the fittings, uh, the kitchen design, the doors, you know, the, the, the ceilings, the, 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 the ACs, all those. Be involved. Be involved in terms of the quality. Don't just, if you leave it with them, a lot of the times they will buy it according to their exposure. And so if they are not that much exposed, then they, even if they are honest, what they will put there, you may not like it. Maybe the paint, the tiles design, the tile color, all those. Not just the quality, the design. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you may not maybe you like white and they like brown you know so sometimes um, because when, once they fix it if you want to remove it it's a problem you know because then you have to spend more so be involved in a lot of things like that 
um, so that because it's your property you know and you are going to rent it and get your money and you every 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 waste goes against you every waste goes against you so you would want to be involved so that at least you can manage the waste and um, and, and and you know be able to come out with something that you are proud of and even if it is not but there is no structure there's no building there's no project that when you finish everything is perfect you're just trying to say that you know the things that are not so much you know is they are not going to cause engineering or technical problem to the structure at least it may be something that has your ego that you would may not have put this thing there if you paid a little more attention you know that's okay uh, but for a technical problem you know then that you know maybe when you finish the pipes are of electrical problems everywhere or maybe they see the, the the roofing is leaking something but well, maybe even the whole building is not even stable there are cracks everywhere you want to be you know you want to get the best of engineers the best of uh, foremen the best of people who and uh, go and look at what they have done if you if the first time engaging them go and look at what they have done what they have produced and uh, a lot of the times you look at <laughs> the taste they have because sometimes when you are going through town you see some buildings you see the wood how they have cast the concrete you know that this one they they overlook a lot of things and therefore um, for me i mean the quality of a building is to look at some of the the way the site is being managed the way a lot of things i mean you they go to prove the quality that you're going to get at the end um, of the day you know so uh you don't want people who who just say oh massa way they send your young you know those kind of things will eventually because you don't really save much and uh, the it's like water you, you know you put water somewhere in a building it will find its way out so anything that you are trying to cut corners compromise they will find their way out somewhere so that's why people will finish the house within two years they